join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. We've gone along Nassau Street next to Trinity College and up to the Clare Street entrance of the amazing National Gallery in Dublin. The gallery was founded in 1854 but as this modern facade suggests a substantial extension was added in 2002. We're going to take a look at around 30 artworks that I particularly like. We'll skim past them all quite quickly as uh, this is just to give you a taste of what's on offer here. So we enter now into the magnificent Millennium Wing. Arriving in the spectacular atrium, we see the obligatory gallery shop on the left and there's a cafe on the right, but just look at the height of this building, all faced in Portland stone. We begin our visit with this lovely Keys Van Dongen, entitled Stella in a Flowered Hat. Hanging next to it is Spanish painter Juan Grises Piero. And next to this is one of the prized gallery possessions, Pablo Picasso's still life with a mandolin. There are sculptures here as well, like this mobile by American sculptor Alexander Calder. All the works in this first room represent European art from 1850 to 1950. Here we see a pointillistic work by the French artist Paul Signac, the terrace at Saint-Tropez. And here, Le Déjeuner by Pierre Bonnard. My favourite Irish painter is Louis Le Brocchi, who passed away a few years ago. This is his fearful world, full of drama and terror, but his paintings are always unique in terms of colour. And here another French master, Pierre-Auguste Renoir's Roses. And hanging beside it is Vincent van Gogh's Rooftops in Paris. And as we pan around, we see this spectacular Claude Monet entitled Argentou Basin with a single sailboat. Further along, Banks of a Canal by Gustave Calbot. A slightly more modern painter now, but a wonderful figurative artist, Lucien Freud and his Memories of London. And here we see the second of our Irish artists. This is the work of Sean Scully, an abstract painter who constantly builds up many layers of paint, sometimes in squares, or in this case, in parallel sections, to create works in his own instantly recognisable language. And this expressionist looking landscape with a flight of stairs is by Belarusian artist Sheen Soutine. From this new section of the gallery, we head now in the direction of the older wings. While we're on our way, please let me remind you to give this video a like if you find it useful. I hope you do. And please subscribe to let us know that you appreciate these films. If you have a favourite work in the gallery, tell our viewers about it in the comment below. Everyone will appreciate that. This new section of the gallery is very beautiful, but wait till you see the older building and the two contrasted periods of architecture dovetail seamlessly. Here we go. And immediately we're confronted with Michelangelo Caravaggio's Taking of Christ, a brilliant example of chiaroscuro. This painting disappeared for over 200 years until it was found hanging in a Dublin Jesuit's dining room. Amazing that it ended up in Ireland. This image of St Francis receiving the stigmata was painted at the end of the 16th century by El Greco, but I'm sure you'll agree that it looks so modern. This portrait of Christ entitled Aki Homo, Behold the Man, words spoken by Pontius Pilate, is by the Venetian artist Titian. And this is interesting, the descent into limbo, not by Bosch, but by followers of Hieronymus Bosch. And more Dutch paintings follow, this one by Rembrandt, Landscape with the rest on the flight into Egypt a bit difficult to see with the reflection. And further along in the Dutch section is one of my favourites, Vermeer's woman writing a letter with her maid. It's so vibrant and beautifully lit.
This frivolous scene of a peasant wedding is by Peter Bruegel, the younger, and beside it hangs a work by Jan Steen. And this radiant image, head of a bearded man, is by the Dutch master Peter Paul Rubens. Another Rembrandt here, or Rembrandt and Studio, lady holding a glove. And a couple of amazing still lives by artists that I must confess not to be too familiar with, Wilhelm Hede and Peter Klaas. Another Rubens, more of the sort of proportion we expect from this artist. Maybe even still a small canvas by Rubens' standards. This is called St Peter Finding the Tribute Money. And here, side by side, two works by Roman artist Nicolas Poussin, Assis and Galatea, and the lamentation over the dead Christ. But this is spectacular. This is Spanish artist Valesquez, Kitchen Made with Supper. And we move up here to the amazingly opulent Grand Gallery. Obviously, there'll be many, many works of art that we won't have a chance to mention in such a short film. But the idea here is to simply wet your whistle and give you a little glimpse at some of my favourite works. If there's a work that you highly recommend and that I don't cover here, drop me a comment and then people planning their visit will know what to look out for. There are two beautiful sculptures up in this room, but I must confess not to know who the artists are. Please let me know in the comments, otherwise I'll have to wait and find out when I go back. And next to these amazing sculptures is this iconic view of the Piazza of San Marco by Canaletto. It's a shame it's hard to appreciate this painting on video. This is a beautiful horizontal portrait by Francisco Goya. Again, the moody and sensual lighting is expertly captured here. So these are my selections and I hope you enjoyed this brief tour. Please give the film a like if you think it's been useful and please, please, please hit the subscribe button. We say goodbye here to George Bernard Shaw in the atrium and head past the gift shop again. A little tired, but all the better for having seen what I hope you will agree are some really beautiful works of art. Remember, subscribing really helps us build an audience for what we do. So thank you for that and I'll see you soon for another Naked Ireland video.